A gentleman in Silicon Valley, California, these here United States of America, he sent me a video link, and I'll have that link in the description. And part of this video illustrates, shows a gentleman in Brooklyn, New York, standing in front of a pizza parlor, holding up a protest sign with a picture of Marco Polo. Marco Polo is the 13th century Italian explorer who traveled the continents into the Middle Kingdom, China, stayed there for 12 years as the guest of the Kublai Khan. And then after 12 years, he returned back to Italy with a number of items from China, specifically spaghetti. Well, he has the picture of the Marco Polo, and below it in Korean is written, Thief! That's right! The Korean holding the sign is calling Marco Polo a thief. Now the reason why he's doing that in front of a pizza parlor because he's accusing, and other people in that video, other Koreans, are accusing Marco Polo of stealing pizza from Korea. He's a pizza thief, so says they. <laughs> the lunacy of that accusation. Hey, let me explain why on a couple of levels. Look at this map here. It shows in green the travels of Marco Polo throughout the Middle Kingdom. Now, let's look at it closer. Look at the land inside the red circle, the peninsula there. That's Korea. Now, do you see where Marco Polo did not travel to Korea? So, did he steal the pizza? If he stole the pizza, but he did not steal the pizza. Did he steal the pizza from China, from the Kublai Khan? That's what he did. That's why he left China, because he was accused of stealing pizza from the Kublai Khan. <laughs> no, that's not true. But let me tell you something, folks. When Marco Polo went back, and supposedly with this stolen pizza, what was on it? And I ask you this. We know that the three main ingredients to a pizza is the dough, tomato sauce, cheese, and then of course the fourth being olive oil. The problem with that is Europeans were not aware of tomatoes till 200 years after Marco Polo. That's right. It was discovered in South America after Christopher Columbus arrived in the New World. So what, you know, we tend to think that when Marco Polo returned to Italy, he went from China to Italy. Uh-uh. Well, not according to these Korean accusations. He must have went from China, South America, picked up a few tomatoes, and I'm sure he enjoyed the tomatoes in Brazil. <laughs> they got some mighty fine tomatoes there. And he goes back to Italy with the stolen pizza and the newfound tomatoes to make tomato sauce. What are you, stupid? Now... If you want to steal something from the Italians in Korea and say it was your discovery, your invention, do us a favor, take the Mafia. We're going to say that the Mafia, the La Costa Nostra, is a Korean invention. That's it, kids, and I'll offer proof to that. In the 1970s, we used to say here in the United States <laughs> that the Mafia was an FBI myth. Well, there must be some validity to that because it's an FBI myth because it originated in Korea. That's what I'm going to say. Organized crime, the mafia, stop blaming the Italianos, eh? We're going to credit the Koreans with that. Now, what are you going to do next, say? That the Mona Lisa by Michelangelo was Korean also? Is that why she has that smile on her face? Pulling the... <laughs> <laughs> we could go on and on with this. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless that Korean gentleman standing in front of the pizza parlor in Brooklyn. <laughs> Folks, we'll see you. <laughs>